All right, we're back at it one more time. And uh, today, since my area is nice and clean, all I do is come in and uh, begin work. So today we're going to start on the paneling for the sides of the benches, and then we'll worry about the top afterwards. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the paneling on the back section, and then I'll install the paneling on the side. So uh, first things first, let's take a measurement, how deep and how high, and like they say in the uh, operating room, let's get to cutting. Okay, so I got my back panels cut. And I just have them sitting in place. And I'm going to do one little trim job on here. So, out of the whole trailer, as I look down, I don't know if it's the table saw or if it's the uh, trailer itself, but I'm out about a sixteenth of an inch on the, uh, on the paneling. So, could be my table saw is just a little out of square. Same way with this side also. So that leaves me to, to think that maybe my saw needs just a little attention. Um, yeah, but you can see the just a little bit of trimming left to do there. So what I'll do is I'll scribe me a line along the edge right here on the paneling. And then I'll take a, a plane and uh, remove the excess and make it flush with the face. So out of the whole project, 16th of an inch isn't bad. I can live with that. It's just one extra step that I don't want to do all the time. So I, uh, I ended up with a new table saw right here. And uh, pretty happy with it. It's nice and stable. Um, but I just took it right out of the box and began using it, so I didn't even set it up. Um, just kind of impatient that way. All right, let me scribe my lines and uh, plane that down. So what I did is, while the paneling was sitting on the back, I made a mark at the bottom of the distance that I need to take off. And then I will take and go from zero at the top to that little mark. And I will strike me a line. And take my plane and take that down to the line. I'll probably put a couple of clamps on here just so this thing doesn't move around, make it a little easier on myself. There, that's better. Okay, now my piece of wood isn't going to move. I'm just going to take my plane and it's set very shallow. And I'm going to take it down to that line. Nice and straight. side and uh, we'll fire up the compressor and tack that on and then worry about this side. So I set my wood up here like so and I have a little gap down here. So I've got it against the wall nice and flush and then I take my pencil and I mark down here on the line. Okay, take that off and uh, Right there. 
clamp that down also. So take, set that on there, line up my mark, pencil. Neat little trick is when you go to scribe a line instead of sitting on there and just drawing a straight line which flattens out your the lead on the pencil what you want to do is as you as you move your pencil across rotate it and that'll keep it nice and sharp all the time all right now I'm ready to to that. Alright, so I'll finish this one and then uh, fire up the compressor and then we'll tack it on. So, stay tuned. So now that I have my wood trimmed to the face of the uh, bench, I took the compress compressor and blew out, uh, blew out all the dust and stuff that gets behind here because I don't want anything holding this thing up. And then I'm going to set it on here and then from behind I'm going to mark all the way around this thing so I know where to put my glue. The glue is going to hold this thing in place. That's what's also going to give it a lot of strength. So um, I'll set that up there. Get my pencil. here so that'll give me an idea where to spread my glue at so I don't uh, miss a spot or put glue somewhere where it's not gonna do any good so I'm gonna spread out the glue and then I'm gonna take staple and staple that in place so stay tuned side okay so we have one side on now we're going to do this side and same thing put that in place take my pencil outline where my glue goes just like a deso take my glue
and call it good. Alright. Get my staple gun. Set it on the floor. Push it against the wall. Nice. Nice. And take one up here. One the bottom. One in the center. And same way with here. One in the center. And one at the end. Same up here. That right there, I think. And one here at the end. One here. And one here. Okay. And that is the edge of the seat. That will look good once it's all painted. Alright. Now we got to do the front section. Okay, I have my panel uh, rough cut for the sides. Uh, I cut it just a, just a smidge over on the height, and it's pretty long. And, and the reason why is because I have the angle here on the front that leaves an awful big gap. So I uh, have to trim that back. And that looks to be about oh, eight or nine inches. And so uh, I left it fairly long here at the end so I can have a little room to play on the front. And as you can tell, it's uh, sitting on the hose here. And it's just, just a hair high. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. So to get that angle, I have a neat little, uh, neat little tool. And this is... Uh, little uh, adjustable angle and so what you do is you loosen that up and that would sit against the floor and on the wall and then you uh, got your angle and then I can take that and set it on the bottom and that will give me my angle that I need so no matter how I want to do it that's going to help me get my angle all right so Hang tough, let me mark some lines, and then uh, we'll cut it and see how it fits. So here's how we're going to find this uh, find this angle. We're going to set this up here. Actually, we're going to take, uh, take our angle, adjustable angle, and set that up there and get our angle. And then set that aside. Take our paneling. Put that up there. Then I'm going to measure at the top to the wall. And I have about nine and three quarters. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is take and measure back ten inches from the bottom. Like I said, I've got I've got a little bit of room to play. Mark my ten inch. And now I'm gonna take my adjustable angle, set that on here, find my line. Lined it up to my mark and that'll give me my angle. So I'll just take a straight edge. If I can find my straight edge. Here we go. Put that on there. Line that up nice and neat like. Eyeball that nice and pretty. And then I can scribe my line all the way to the end. And that gives me my line to cut. We're all the way right to the corner. So I'll take a jigsaw, I'll cut that, and uh, just rough cut it. Stay tuned.